Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here doing a quick video. Uh, I see this a lot and I actually had a problem with this the other night is the uh, Akion 200 watt submersible heater. It's actually making a popping noise. Uh, not so much like a clicking like you would see um, or hear when it's turning on and off like you would with a normal heater. Uh, this is actually like a popping, like someone's taking their finger and knocking on the tank itself uh, or even knocking on the wooden stand below it. Uh, it can be kind of frightening to an Aquarius uh, or even someone new or even someone old in the hobby uh, because any idea of a tank blowing out is not a fun time. Uh, definitely something you don't want to deal with. Uh, after reading a bunch of forms and kind of troubleshooting my own methods, the heater is not faulty. Uh, I didn't have any problem with it. What I did is mine was actually too close to the actual live plants. So what I'm thinking what happened is the uh, heat was getting trapped right in that area. Uh, and also, after I moved it, it didn't make the noise as much, but it did make it occasionally. And what I did is I moved the suction cups uh, that are around the base of it and around the bottom of it, like the top. Uh, what was happening is the suction cups are too close to the actual heating unit itself, uh, which was causing the plastic to heat up and shrink down when it was hitting the cold water uh, and the combination of both of them was causing that popping noise. Uh, I haven't had a problem since. I moved it yesterday. I haven't heard the noise since. The heater's been turning on and off fine. Uh, there's really no moisture. Uh, the heater's been pumping out fine at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The tank's been staying steady at that temperature. Uh, so if you're having a problem with the popping, uh, definitely check it out. Uh, it might not mean that it's faulty. Some it may. Uh, but you want to make sure that you check for any type of moisture in the actual glass of the heater. Uh, you want to make sure that the suction cups aren't close to the actual springs and coils of the he heating unit itself. Uh, and you want to make sure there's enough circulation in the tank so that way there's not like a stagnant or a still part of the uh, aquarium where the water is just staying heated and the rest of it's not. Uh, this can actually cause a problem as well. Uh, like I said, mine was pretty much getting wrapped up with my uh, Amazon sword. And if you check some of my other videos in my community tank, it's freaking huge. Uh, it literally takes up half my tank if I let it go, but I've actually pushed it off to the side. Uh, hopefully be doing a video update on that. Uh, so yeah, if you're having a problem with the popping in the Akion 200 watt submersible heaters, uh, just do some troubleshooting first before you throw it away. Uh, you can also call Akion. Sometimes they do uh, issue a warranty on it, uh, so you can check that out and see what happens. Uh, but just make sure you check the most thought out things, like I said, moisture, the suction cups being too close to the heating elements, and uh, just any kind of abnormalities. Try moving it into a different section of the tank and see what happens. Uh, if it continues the popping, then take it out. Uh, like I said, this is a popping, not a clicking. Uh, they're definitely different. So if you have any questions, pop it down in the comments below, uh, no pun intended. Uh, check out my website, mafishguide.com. I have a huge selection of heaters uh, from Marineland, Akion, uh, any type of heater you're looking for, as well as filters, foods, everything like that. Uh, also check out our new form that I'm a co-owner of. It's the Aquatic Wetland. Uh, what you can do is right below, I have a link to it. Just click the link, join it. It's just starting out, so the information is just starting to roll out into it. Uh, so please check it out. Please join. Uh, the first two positions will get a global admin position. Uh, just trying to have people join uh, and get the word out. So please join and thanks for watching.